Accutron Space View DNA. Let's check it out. I got my thoughts on this thing for sure. So big thanks to Mimos. I'll put a link down below in the description. He is new to carrying Acu Accutron and he said some of their displays are amazing. He's trying to find the space to show them because uh, they do a fantastic job of displaying their pro products for sure. So you can see this thing is not running right now. This thing needs to be worn. It needs to be, you know, it is running behind in the background, but the secondhand sweep is not going. So, and I'm going to show you that a little bit. There's a rotor in the back here that actually spins. You can feel it and you think that just the stuff in the front is doing everything, but that's not really the case. So, um, this one here is the hang tag. Check it out. So, because they're not cheap. $3,300. So, uh, but there's a lot going on here. I, well, let's cover the case size and then we'll cover my thoughts on it. So this one, this is the DNA. So this one has the fitted strap. And then there's another one that's just the regular space view, the standard one that'll have uh, regular lugs on it that you can change out the straps and it'll come on a leather. So whichever one works for you. I think this one's really comfortable on wrist. I haven't tried the other one though. I will soon. 45 millimeter case. The lug to lug, it's hard to grab a measurement here, so I'm just going to call it 50-ish. So basically 40 by 45 by 50. The thickness, you can see this crazy domed sapphire crystal. The thickness is about 15.75 millimeter. And then you have a push-pull crown system here for adjusting the time. 50 meter water resist. And this thing beats at 360 hertz, or it doesn't beat at 300. Well, I guess it does, because that's the way the tuning fork works in this thing. So let me just jump right into this as we zoom in and take a closer look because these things, I'm going to put a link down below to an article I found on Revolution. Uh, check out their link, read it, see if you can understand it. Um, I feel like I'm starting to understand what these are going, but it's a proprietary electrostatic uh, um, movement, essentially, right? Um, I don't understand all that gadgetry. Basically, I feel like this thing runs on dark magic or something. It's pretty wild. I'm sure there's some engineers out there, or some much highly educated people out there over my uh, capabilities that will fully understand how this works. But these are generators here, um, you know, these lower portions here, but they're, I'm assuming they're tied to the rotor in the back. You can see them, they'll do some spinny things. And then you have this guy here. Now, when this second hand is running, this one up here will spin as well. And I legit just had it running, so I'm not sure why it stopped. But um, like I said, it needs to be worn. It'll go into a power save mode after five minutes of inactivity. Um, but once you start wearing it again on this butterfly clasp, if I can get it locked down, you'll, um, you'll see on my wrist here that it, it wears great. Like it looks in, well, let me zoom back out, excuse me. It looks and wears great. Like it's actually very comfortable. It fits the curvature of my wrist perfect. There it goes. It started up because I started moving around. You can kind of see it moving now. Let me zoom back in so you can see that. See, it does whirly bits and stuff. And it's just spinning, it's doing things. It's dark magic. I don't know how else to explain it. I don't know what's going on. It just works. So like I said, after five minutes of not wearing it, it will go into a power save mode. Um, I was just listening to a Teddy Baldassar video, and he said in his video, and I didn't verify this, but he said in his video, that after two years, if you don't wear this thing for two years, you're basically going to have to send it in to have a, a capacitor replaced or something. So wear your watches, guys. I mean, don't buy these and then let them sit there as collector pieces. Sure, it's a crazy collectible, unique watch, but wear it. They're meant to be worn. They have excellent straps. So whether you want the DNA, like this one, where it has the fitted strap, which is crazy comfortable, guys, for a 45 millimeter watch. Like, and, th and then this one has like the rose gold colored, but you can get them in the standard stainless steel. There's some really good fun ones. If you check out Mimo's website, they have some green. And then I like the one with the green bridging. So I think I would probably pick one of those. But this one's very tasteful and classy looking, I think. So, but like I said, a $3,300 price tag. So who buys these, right? Well, you know, if you're just wearing dive watches and kind of new to the hobby and stuff like that, probably not 
going to be a watch for you. This is going to be more of a watch for someone that has uh, tried a bunch of different watches. They're honing in their taste and their style and they're uh, allured by special type things. And this one's definitely special. And I think that's who's really purchasing this is a more experienced watch enthusiast, if that makes sense. Could be wrong on that, but uh, I could be right. So either way, uh, but it's just, it's fun to see unique things like this. I mean, no one else is doing anything like this. That is for sure. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm not sure if there's loom on this. Yeah, it looks like there's something. So let's kill the lights and check the loom on this guy. Oh yeah, there's definitely loom. That thing is wild. Because the way the crystal's done with where those indices are, it's just, man, the loom on it is wild as well. So very cool. I'm excited to see some other models from the lineup as well. Uh, definitely want to check out the regular Space View one with the regular style strap. I suspect I might actually like this fitted one more. Could be wrong, but we'll, I'll know soon enough because I'm headed out to Mimo's. Uh, probably by the time you watch this, I'll have already been there and back. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.